Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to upgrade the motors, the eShine uh, E010. If you watched the previous uh, videos, you saw the unboxing and me adding the FPV for the quadcopter. Everything was uh, stock. Uh, I heard in the comments and in uh, some forums that uh, some of the eShine E010, after adding the FPV camera, just cannot lift with the stock battery. Uh, so I'm going to show you how it flies pretty well with the stock motors so you know it can fly it might be some different batch of quadcopter maybe you got a defect one but most of them do fly uh, with uh, FX camera with the stock motors it's not the perfect uh, flying so I'm gonna I have the motor so I'm gonna upgrade anyway uh, so let's get to it So I didn't change anything yet. I'm gonna upgrade the motors next. I'm just showing you it can fly. Stock battery, 150 milliamps. Also with video, as you can see. As you can see, yeah. set. does fly. It's a bit harder for it, but it can fly. It's about 60% will hover. You can see it. Right, okay. is more sensitive for all the movements and high rate also flies I will upgrade the motors to see if it's flying better that's it and back as I said stock motors everything stock only the added camera first of all I'm gonna take out the mount as you can see here this is where the motors connect to the board, solder it in, so to remove, we need to first unsolder these wires, put new motors inside, then we we'll solder in. First of all, remove the props. It is important which props goes where. There is a clockwise and a counterclockwise. So if you're not sure which goes where, when you take out the props, just set it up the same way you took it off. Put it aside. Now you can see. I'm not sure that the, the motors will be better than the stock one. It is Coley one. It's recommended upgrade. Hope it will be better. So I will do it one by one, so I can tell which one goes where. You can do actually two together, because you have an example with the other two. If you upgrade the motors and adding a FPV together, better do the motors first, it will be easier. This 
exporter out again do it step by step won't get confused First the wire, adding the motor, perfect size, now the wire has to go through, okay, as you can see, new wire, Now you can cut it, but keep a bit of spell. Okay, finished with the soldering the two new motors, as you can see on this side. Now I'm going to do the other side. It's exactly the same, so I will fast forward it, and uh, after it I will rebuild the quad. I finished with all the soldering. This is the new motors, the new cables. I will connect everything back. That's it. Now the test. So first of all, the spin. And I set up correctly. In regular mode. Checking the hover, cleaning. As you can see, still needs about 60% to hover. As for control. It feels about the same. Let's go high rate. For me it feels the same, no improvement, maybe just a tiny bit. You can definitely use it as a whoop, turn around the house with the FPV, but it will need extra strength. So the motors that I used, it's not the perfect of the quad. So for me it's not a recommended upgrade. Maybe if you use different kind of motors, stronger. So you sign the video how to upgrade the motors so you'll be able to upgrade if you find a better motors for it. You sign the beginning of the video that you can use the original motors, it will be just fine. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.